It's about time they sent me someone who looks like they can actually fight. They tell you what we're up against? The recruiter was a little vague. We wouldn't get many hires if everyone knew the truth. Archangel's holed up in a building at the end of the boulevard over there. He's got superior position, and the only way in is over a very exposed bridge. It's a killing ground, but he's getting tired, making mistakes. We'll have him soon enough. You guys have a plan? A small team is waiting to infiltrate his hideout, but we need to draw Archangel's fire so they can move in. And that's where we come in? Exactly. You'll be on a distraction team. Head straight over the bridge and keep Archangel busy so the infiltration team can sneak in behind him. That's gotta have suicide. Pretty much, but you look like you can handle it. Head up to the boulevard and get to the third barricade. Talk to Sergeant Katka. He'll tell you when to go in. So the bridge is the only way to his hideout? Exactly. Archangel collapsed all the underground passageways and sealed the doors to the lower levels. We've got teams digging, but it's taking too long. If they can get the gunship flying again, that'll help. But I'm hoping the infiltration team will finish the job and we can all go home. They were using a gunship to take out one guy? Yeah, and Archangel shut it down. He didn't destroy it, but he knew just where to hit it to disable it. It wasn't even a fair fight. At least not for us. Where's the infiltration team now? On the far side of the bridge near his hideout, but they can't get any closer without being seen. How'd they get that close without being seen? More distractions. Tarek used a gunship to keep Archangel busy. We were able to sneak a few men into his hideout before he took it down, but they're stuck there. We need to keep Archangel focused on the bridge, so he doesn't find them and wipe them out. What do you know about Archangel? I'm the wrong guy to ask. I just do logistics. Tarek and the other Merc bosses have been dealing with it for a while now. But don't be surprised if they're not thrilled about talking to a freelancer. I better go find Sergeant Kathka. Good idea. Watch yourself on the boulevard. Archangel's killed dozens out there already. Getting in, simple enough. Getting out, problematic. Let's find him first. Then we'll figure out how to get back. Guess we're going with the mercs. The heavy mechs and gunship possess considerable firepower. Weakening them before leaving will improve your chances. As the first wave goes in, the infiltration team will attempt to take Archangel by surprise. I don't expect much from the freelancers. When they fail, we are up next. The light mechs go in first. If that's not enough, we send in the heavy. Be prepared. Do you need something? You lead the Eclipse? You figure that out by yourself? I'm Jareth. I run Omega's Eclipse. What do you need, Freelancer? So the infiltration team is the main focus of the attack? Tarek's plan, not mine. He doesn't want to lose any more men, so he's throwing you Freelancers at the problem. Archangel's not going anywhere, so I suppose there's no harm in trying. Who knows? Maybe you'll get lucky. So you're just gonna hide here while the Freelancers get killed? Precisely. You're paid to be a distraction, nothing more. Whether you survive or not is up to you. Why are Eclipse on Omega in the first place? Since you care so much, Eclipse controls almost 20% of Omega. Our transports and mechs keep the Ezo moving. Sounds very organized. Eclipse runs like a well-oiled machine, but Omega is anything but organized. It's a constant battle for control. Then Archangel comes along and complicates things even more. Why does Archangel give you so much trouble? Ask him. I'm just here to make as much money as I can. We didn't come to Omega to be constrained by laws and regulations. He'll regret ever coming to Omega, I promise you. Seems like this is personal for you. He raided one of my transports last month, killed two of my best operatives. One of them was my brother, so yes, it's pretty damn personal. 
What do you know about Archangel? His life expectancy is shortening quickly. Is that it? Nobody seems to know anything about him. Look around. You'll learn what you need to know. He's smart, he's resourceful, and he's dangerous. But we've got him cornered. He won't be making fools of us much longer. Can I assist you further? Where did he come from? Who is he? Even his team didn't know that. Maybe we'll know more once we have his body. Of course, it really won't matter then. I'll get going. Good idea. That should slow him down. Nice. Anyone who activates that thing will get blown the hell up. Friend or foe. You're in the wrong place, Freelancer. You the Blood Pack leader? Name's Garm. That's all you need to know. I'm stuck here waiting till you freelancers are done playing war. Ask your questions and go. When did the Blood Pack attack? Damn Tarek wants us to wait. I hate waiting. But he says the Suns have a plan, and they don't want us getting in their way. Huh. We're supposed to wait until the Eclipse send their mechs. We'll see. Why are the Blood Pack on Omega? We're the muscle on this bloody station. You need protection or want someone removed, talk to us. The Blood Pack are everywhere on Omega. Everybody loves us, and everybody hates us. I'm guessing Archangel mostly just hates you. He's just an uptight asshole. I don't really care what he thinks. But he's costing me men and making me work for my money. I'll be the one to take him out today. You watch. I'm the only one who's fought him one-on-one. -on -one. What do you know about Archangel? He's a pain in the ass. He's a Turian, which makes him slightly worse to look at than you. And he's brave, till he realizes you're more than he bargained for. Sounds like you've had personal experience. He tried to take me down once. Waited till I was alone. Longest damn fight of my life. But I held him off till my men showed up. He wasn't so tough after that. We chased him over half of Omega. Almost had him. But the slippery bastard snuck away before we could pin him down. I should get going. About time. This looks interesting. What do you want, Freelancer? 
He'll report to Kafka. Not now, human. I don't want excuses! Tell Kafka to get that gunship working, or he'll be next over that bridge. And somebody get me those damn blueprints! Now! Get this freelancer out of here! I don't have time for this shit! I just have a few questions about the operation. Get, get this scum out of my face! Tarek, what's eating your ass? Zaid. You know this asshole, Zaid? We worked together once. Since when do you work for so little? Since when are you a goddamn madman? You're talking to him. This guy's gonna kill me. Almost did already. That bad, huh? Worse. Look, Zaid. I gotta deal with this shit. Jinter, talk to these guys. Answer whatever questions they have. Good to see you. And who knows? Maybe you'll solve my problem for me. Anything's possible. Good thing you know him. Tarek hates having to hire freelancers. He doesn't trust anyone outside the Blue Suns. You don't say. What can I do for you? What's Tarek gonna do if the infiltration team fails? To start, he'll shoot any freelancers that are still alive. After that, he'll let Eclipse and the Blood Pack take their shots. I suggested we work together, but he doesn't trust the other groups. What if Archangel survives all the attacks? Then you sons are on your own. That's why Tarek wants that gunship fixed so badly. But it won't come to that. Archangel's good, but he can't hold out that long. He's already been in there over a day. What do the Blue Suns do on Omega? We supply goods to a lot of the groups and factions here. Goods? Weapons, mechs, machinery, you name it, we can get it. We also broker deals between factions. You wouldn't know it to look at him now, but Tarek can be quite a negotiator. How did Archangel get the Blue Sun so mad at him? He harasses and hounds us constantly. We worry that every job is a trap now. Does he know where this meeting is? Will this shipment suddenly disappear? How many men will we lose this time? Tarek's had enough. I don't blame him. What do you know about Archangel? He's a Turian vigilante who thinks killing mercs is a fun way to pass the time. Other than that, he's a mystery. He shows up, usually at the worst possible time, and screws with our work. He can't die soon enough, if you ask me. Why do you hate him so much? He went after Tarek. At his home. Almost got him. Tarek's been on edge ever since, and he's making my life a living hell. Second guesses every damn thing I do. Getting the other Merc bands to help us shows you just how desperate he is. They're as bad as Archangel. We better get going. Good idea. Make sure you check in with Kafka. What do you need? Never mind. Maybe we'll just get going. Good idea. The sooner you guys get through, the sooner the job is done. Carbs blood pack better wait for my signal. Don't you have a job to do? I'm looking for Sergeant Kafka. You and me both, pal. He's over there, working on the gunship. We'll go over the bridge when he gives the word. Go talk to him if you want, but I'm in no hurry. I'll be right back. Good luck. Kafka? Sergeant Kafka. Uh, you must be the group Salki mentioned. You're just in time. Were you waiting for us? The infiltration team is about to give us a signal. Archangel won't know what hit him. Got any questions? This may be your last chance. Are you gonna give us cover with the gunship? Huh. Tarek is the only one who flies her. Besides, she's not quite ready. That bastard Archangel gave her a beating last time she was out there. 
A few more tweaks. She'll be as good as new. Why are you coordinating the attack and fixing gunships? I'm in the infiltration group. Our team coordinates with the gunship. I'm staying back to organize the freelancers and make sure the gunship's ready to go if we need her. So our plan is to jump the wall and head for Archangel's building? And try not to get killed too fast. You're only a distraction, as long as you're alive. You don't have to make it all the way across. Just keep Archangel watching that bridge. The infiltration team will do the rest. How will the infiltration team get to Archangel? They've got two options. They trap them in close quarters and finish the bastard off face to face. If that doesn't work, they have explosives. They'll just need time to set up. So the bridge is the only way in? Until the gunship's working again or the blaster's finished with the tunnels. Look, we got a plan. We don't need you trying to come up with any great ideas. Just do your damn job, collect your credits, and go home. Are you leading the assault? Ha! <laughs> Tarek doesn't pay me to fight. I just plan the attacks and fix the damn gunship. You freelancers get the privilege of... Check. Bravo team! Go, go, go! Archangel's got quite a surprise waiting for him. But that means no more waiting for me. Gotta get her back to 100% before Tarek decides he needs her again. You're working too hard. Archangel is in trouble. Not much time. What the hell are we waiting for? Come on, we'll give these guys a surprise of our own. Heads up. Use the marking! Archangel?
Shepard. I thought you were dead. Garrus, what are you doing here? Just keeping my skill sharp. A little target practice. You okay? Been better, but it sure is good to see a friendly face. Killing mugs is hard work, especially on my own. What are you doing out here on Omega? I got fed up with all the bureaucratic crap on the Citadel. Figured I could do more good on my own. At least it's not hard to find criminals here. All I have to do is point my gun and shoot. How'd you manage to piss off every major Merc organization in the Terminus systems? It wasn't easy. I really had to work at it. I am amazed that they teamed up to fight me. They must really hate me. Since when did you start calling yourself Archangel? It's just a name the locals gave me for all my good deeds. <laughs> I don't mind it, but please, it's uh, <clears throat> just Garrus to you. You nailed me good a couple of times, by the way. Concussive of rounds only, no harm done. Didn't want the mercs getting suspicious. Uh-huh. If I wanted to do more than take your shields down, I'd have done it. Besides, you were taking your sweet time. I needed to get you moving. Well, we got here. But I don't think getting out will be as easy. No, it won't. That bridge has saved my life, funneling all those witless idiots into scope. But it works both ways. They'll slaughter us if we try to get out that way. Just waiting doesn't seem like a good option. Got any other suggestions? This place has held them off so far. And with three of you, I suggest we hold this location, wait for a crack in their defenses, take our chances. It's not a perfect plan, but it's a plan. How'd you let yourself get into this position? My feelings got in the way of my better judgment. It's a long story. I'll make you a deal. You get me out of here alive, and I'll tell you the whole damn thing. If we fight as a team, we'll hold them off. You're right. Their numbers won't help them in here anyway. Let's see what they're up to. Hmm. Looks like they know their infiltration team failed. Take a look. Scouts. Eclipse, I think. That looks like a lot more than scouts. Indeed. We better get ready. I'll stay up here. I can do a lot of damage from this vantage point. You? You can do what you do best. Just like old times, Shepard. Let's give these bastards everything. <clears throat>
ammo quarter is level. Forget which, doesn't matter. Change weapon. Of course. burn through any armor. You want something done properly. All right, let's see how you handle this, Archangel. should take care of itself. Firing an impact gun! Kicking ass, Shepard. They barely touched me. And we got Jareth in the process. I've been hunting that little bastard for months. What were you after? He's been shipping tainted Izo all over Citadel space. Half the goods I seized back at CSEC came from his team here on Omega. I took out a big shipment a while back and killed his top lieutenant in the process. Not surprised he decided to work with the other mercs after that. We've still got Blood Pack and Blue Suns left. Think we can make a break for it? Maybe. Let's see what they're up to. 
They've reinforced the other side, heavily. But they're not coming over the bridge yet. What are they waiting for? Sounds problematic. Damn it. They breached the lower level. Well, they had to use their brains eventually. You'd better get down there, Shepard. I'll keep the bridge clear. Let's split up two and two. Keep one of my team here. You sure? Who knows what you'll find down there? Zaid, stay with Garrus. Keep him alive. Roger that. Thanks, Shepard. You better get going. How do I get to the basement? Go down a level. The basement door is on the west side of the main room behind the stairs. I'll radio directions if you need help, but you've got to get down there quick. Good luck.
going now. Change weapon. Taking cover. Get back here, Shepard. 
They're coming in through the door. Ah, rip them to shreds! Watch my back. I'll deal with Archangel. Bastards, but I've seen worse. And we took out Garm and his blood pack. This day just gets better and better. He was one tough son of a bitch. You fought with him before? Yeah, we tangled once. Caught him alone, none of his gang to help him. We still couldn't take him out. I've never seen a Krogan regen that fast. He's a freak of nature. He just kept at it until his fortune showed up. It was close, but I had to let him go. Not this time. Only the Blue Suns are left. I say we take our chances and fight our way out. I think you're right. tarek has got the toughest group, but nothing we haven't faced before. Besides, he won't be expecting us to meet him head on. Look out! Damn it! I thought I'd take that thing out already. They fixed it, but not completely. I made sure of that. Offloading troops. Watch your back. <laughs>
Getting you out of here, Garrus. Just hold on. Radio Joker, make sure they're ready for us. He's not gonna make it. Commander, we've done what we could for Garrus, but he took a bad hit. The doc's corrected with surgical procedures and some cybernetics. Best we can tell, he'll have full functionality, but... Shepard? <laughs> Tough son of a bitch. Didn't think he'd be up yet. Nobody would give me a mirror. How bad is it? Hell, Garrus, you were always ugly. Slap some face paint on there, and no one will even notice. <laughs> oh, oh, don't make me laugh. Damn it, my face is barely holding together as it is. Ah, uh, probably for the best. Everyone was always ignoring you and hitting on me. Time for you to get a fair shot at it. Frankly, I'm more worried about you, Cerberus Shepard. You remember those sick experiments they were doing? Right now, they're a necessary evil. I need the resources to get this done. I'm fit for duty whenever you need me, Shepard. I'll settle in and see what I can do with the forward batteries.
Shepard. How can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Yes, we'd like that, actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Did the Krogan evolve, or did some of their scientists develop a treatment? Krogan scientists? <laughs> Never met Krogan scientists worthy of term. No. Natural evolution. Krogan physiology incredibly durable. Organ redundancy, backup systems, cellular regeneration. Genophage like any other natural hazard. Krogan evolved past it. Maybe they were just having a lucky year. Or fewer mercs left, meaning more Krogan were left to repopulate. Please, Shepard. Social environmental concerns accounted for. Not an undergraduate. Population spike caused by adaptation to genophage. No other possibility. What did your team do when it learned that the Krogan were overcoming the genophage? Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians created new version of genophage, released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas, re-stabilized Krogan population. You never considered other options? Hundreds. Thousands. Modified genophage offered best outcome. Stabilized population avoided publicity that could incite Krogan anger, averted potential genocide or devastating war. Best solution for whole galaxy, Krogan included. If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal, not a murderer, genocide, unnecessary. Krogan as a whole, violent, aggressive, still have outliers, worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy, allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins, good for us, good for them. How did you distribute the modified genophage? Covert drops, hospitals, clan centers, water supplies. Very difficult, few Solarians on Tuchanka. Team got caught a few times, had to fight free. Messy. Better when things went as planned. How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Commander, can I help you with something? Let's just talk for a bit. Unofficial. You and me. If you want, Commander. Cerberus has ranks, but it's not the Alliance. No rules about fraternization. Your boat, your call. You want to get friendly with everyone? That's your business. Relax, Jacob. I'm just interested in what makes you tick. Anyone else said that, I'd walk away. Most Cerberus people try to play like the elusive man, hiding bullshit behind a smile. But you? I like what I've seen. I'll give you a shot. What do you want to know? Anyone waiting for you back home? Only child and no extended family. Never settled down. Didn't seem fair with this job. But you can't miss what you never had. I know you and Miranda worked together. I got the impression it might have been more than that. It got a little close. Then it got really far apart. The rest isn't your business, Commander. Just looking for insight into her character. I find her interesting. Right. Can't help you with that, Commander. If I had any idea what made her tick, I'd either be with her or dead. That probably covers all you need to know, really. Sour grapes? I think that's enough talking. I appreciate your interest, Commander. I appreciate you dropping it, too.
How is our newest Turian crew member doing? His injuries looked painful. He's a soldier. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. There's something about him. I just want to hold him close and whisper, it will be all right. I've been through a lot too, Kelly. Some of your therapy sounds perfect right now. Someday we'll have to set aside some time and really talk. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Ferris Fields. Any news on your brother? He's gone. They're all gone. But we'll get them back. Shepard and Lawson are on it. We'll get your brother back. And make sure the collectors pay for taking him. Hey, Commander, we got Garrus back. That's great, because he was totally my favorite. With that pole up his ass. I assume everything is going well up here? It was, until the thing started questioning my every move. It won't let anything slide. You were deliberately falsifying maintenance reports, Mr. Moreau. Not falsifying, tweaking. I always round up on task times. It makes us look good when we come in under. Harmless self-promotion. Edie can ease off on that. Very well, Shepard. Yeah, go pow. I win. Joker. Right, right, no hard feelings. Good game. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. No surprise, Morden acts superior to everyone. Like he's got tenure at FU. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? Yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? How are you getting along with Joker? Mr. Moreau does not trust me. It offends him that I am installed aboard his ship's computers. Yeah, the last Normandy did just fine without an AI reminding me the airlock is ajar. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard.
Did you hear? Another colony went missing. Ferris Fields. Ferris Fields? Didn't Hadley have a brother stationed there? Yeah. He's taking it pretty hard. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I'm just finishing an operation report. I'm impressed, Shepard. So far, things have gone exceptionally well. As Cerberus operations go, this is one of the best I've been a part of. Maybe that's because this isn't a Cerberus operation. Not to you, maybe. But I report directly to the elusive man. And I'm here because he wants me to be. Cerberus gave you a second chance, Commander. Maybe you should do the same for us. What did Cerberus do that made you so loyal? Hmm. I suppose you deserve to know. Do you remember when I told you how I was genetically altered? Well, that wasn't my choice. My father... created me. He's a very influential man and extremely controlling. He didn't want a daughter. He wanted a dynasty. I ran away as soon as I was old and brave enough. I went to Cerberus because I knew they could protect me. I assume that Cerberus approves of your enhanced abilities? Of course. Cerberus fully endorses anything that advances the cause of humanity. Genetic alterations included. But unlike my father and his own selfish reasons, Cerberus and the elusive man believe in a greater good. They see the bigger picture. And I feel like I have a purpose here. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. Your spirit and personality are what make you great. It's what makes anyone great. That's kind of you. I'm not sure I believe you, but thanks for saying it. Who exactly is your father? A businessman. But a very wealthy one. It's ironic, my father believed deeply in a human positive agenda. He donated generously to Cerberus. Before I joined them. That's how I first heard about Cerberus, through my father's connections. You talk about yourself like you're just a tool to be used. By your father? By Cerberus? Maybe. I like to know where I fit in the world. It helps me find meaning in how I was created. You are who you are, Miranda. You don't need to make excuses for it. That's easy for you to say. We've both been engineered for greatness, Shepard. The difference is, you were great before we rebuilt you. I'm great because of it. You've told me a lot about your father. What happened to your mother? I never had one. Most of my genetic material is based on my father's tissue. His Y chromosome was altered with an amalgam of desired traits from various sources. How arrogant can you be? The man is completely egomaniacal. Just another reason I had to get away from him. Thanks for your time, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, Commander. Commander, what can I do for you? Have you got any ideas for potential upgrades we could make? A few ideas, yeah. Here, take a look. Whenever you have the time and resources, let me know. Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties, aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. How can I help you, Commander? You have everything you need. If you happen to find any of those supplies on the list I gave you, it would be much appreciated. Otherwise, I'm doing fine. I won't take any more of your time. Back to work.
Shepard, need me for something? Have you got a minute? Sure. Just checking the weapon systems. You can never be too careful. I thought I'd seen every weapon in the galaxy in our fight against Saren. Mercenary work showed me otherwise. And now Cerberus rebuilds the Normandy with a few upgrades to boot. I wish we'd joined up with them sooner. We haven't joined Cerberus. They're funding our mission. That's all. Relax, Shepard. Just a figure of speech. I can't exactly doubt your judgment. Not after I got my own squad killed. What did your Merc squad do? It didn't sound like you were available for hire. You saw Omega. It was full of thugs kicking the helpless. I formed my team to kick back. We weren't mercenaries. At least nobody was paying us. We made money by taking down slavers, pirates, or gangs that went too far. It sounds like you were just another gang. Then I'm saying it wrong. We didn't shake anyone down. No civilian casualties. That was our rule. Every member of my team had lost someone to Omega's gangs. We weren't out to get rich. We were out to make those bastards think twice before murdering someone in the street. Doesn't sound like you made any friends with the gangs. I got three separate merc bands to work together to take me down. My manager at CSEC would be impressed. It was simple. We'd hit their shipments, disrupt activities, get under their skin, make them angry. They'd come charging right into our well-prepared kill zone, crossfire and snipers, clean and surgical. They never stood a chance. Tell me about your squad. There were twelve of us, including me. Former military operatives, CSEC agents, the usual. Had a Salarian explosives expert. Pretty sure he'd spent time in the special tasks group. My tech expert was a Batarian, believe it or not. Not the friendliest guy, but... He could hack any system ever built. How'd you end up fighting mercenaries here on Omega? After the Normandy was destroyed, most of us went our separate ways. CSEC asked me back, but I turned them down. Omega was filled with criminals nobody else could touch. And there was no red tape to slow me down. It was a perfect fit. People here needed someone to believe in. Someone to stand up to the local thugs. That explains how you started. How'd you end up with a squad? Not too different from how you formed your squad to fight Saren, actually. You prove that you get things done, and people join up. Mercs who wanted to atone. Security consultants tired of playing by the rules. I gave them hope. And now they're dead. Shows what I know. How do those mercenary gangs take down your team? It was my own damn fault. One of my people betrayed me. A Turian named Sidonis. He drew me away just before the mercs attacked my squad. Then he disappeared. Everyone except me is dead because of him. And because I didn't see it coming. I'm not sure I understand. What happened exactly? Sidonis asked for my help on a job. When I got to the meeting point, nobody was there. By the time I got back to our hideout, the mercs had killed all but two of my squad. And they didn't last long. Are you sure it was a betrayal? Maybe they took Sedona's out first. No. I put out feelers with some old contacts. He booked transport off Omega just before the attack. He also cleared out his private accounts before he left. He sold me out and ran. Do you know where Sedona's is now? No. His trail vanishes after he leaves Omega, but I'll keep hunting. I lost my whole team except for Sedonis. One day I'll find him and correct that. Thanks for coming by, Shepard. I've got some things to take care of. Shepard, need me for something? Have you got any upgrade ideas for the Normandy's weapon systems? A few, yeah. Here, take a look. Let me know when you've got the materials for me to upgrade our guns. What can you tell me about the Normandy's armaments? Looks like Cerberus upgraded what the ship carried before. 
Should have a bit more kick. I still don't like our chances against a collector ship, though. Not unless we upgrade the guns. Have the Cerberus crewmen given you any trouble? I think being part of the team that took down Saren got me some points. Everyone I talked to was polite, anyway. Don't worry, Commander. We're all working together. Talk to you later, Garrus. I'll be here if you need me. Thinking about past missions. Got a minute, you might learn something. So you knew Archangel from before. Interesting. Knew a lot of men taking jobs to kill the son of a bitch. I never saw the point. He and I wanted the same thing. A whole lot of mercs dead. Hell of a sniper, though. And he kept himself alive with all the mercs in Omega after him. That ain't easy. I was trying to remember how many Cerberus operatives I've killed. Lost track around 50. Guess your elusive man's big on forgiveness. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Oh yeah, that's a model of the Varicon. Turian frigate. Hell of a ship. I led a mission to bring that thing down from the inside with just five men and whatever guns we could bring. No chance of success, but we did it. Everyone died but me. So I made out like a bandit. My first impossible mission as an independent contractor. There's been many since, but nothing so goddamn sweet as watching that Turian warship crash planet side. Hey, don't touch. That rifle's older than you are. I call it Jesse. That's my lucky charm. More men have been killed with that gun than died in the Skillian Blitz. The day I laid her to rest was the saddest day of my life. I give up every weapon I own for one more mission with that shitty old rifle. Beauty, isn't it? Pride that off the Krogan warlord, Kazak. Used to run the blood pack out of Omega about 17 years ago. Wasn't even a job. The guy just thought he'd hijack a freighter I was hitchhiking on. Big mistake. I goaded Gizak into one-on-one -on -one combat. Took out his legs, grabbed his gun, and killed every blood pack bastard in the room. That was the most beaten Krogan I've ever seen. Kept a helmet to remind me of that pained expression. New armor reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. 
We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion Five poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My Skellion Five's a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, Commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. <laughs>